Hi, I'm Daniel. I'm really excited to share our new version of the search engine with you. It's a venture capital search engine, and what it enables you to do is to describe what a business does. It could be your business, it could be the business of an entrepreneur that you're supporting. And you then, uh, after having typed in your search phrase, you can identify which individuals uh, at which VC firms are best to market to. So I put in uh, an example here, so I'm going to put in quantum computing. And what the search engine will do is it will identify which individuals at which VC firms uh, are blogging about that, that topic. So for example, I can see that Lars at Balderton is um, speaking quite extensively about this. We index Twitter, we index Medium, Substack and podcasts. Um, that's a, a, a relatively recent addition. We're really pleased with that. And in future, you will um, have an embedded SoundCloud player, which enables you to start off from the point in the podcast where they're discussing what you've just searched for which is, yeah, it's really cool. You can also look through portfolio companies. So the portfolio companies that VCs have invested in. So all of these are going to be relevant to quantum computing. And I can see for, for Byte, for example, they've just dis they've discussed um, what they do. Uh, and I can see, yeah, um, basically highlighted from their website where they describe themselves as being um, quantum related. So I can also then see the investment entities that have invested into that company. What that's really good for is you can quickly produce a landscape of who else is in that space, who's invested in them. And so I can click through on let's say Kindred Capital. And what the search engine will do is it will look through the portfolio of Kindred Capital and identify which of their portfolio companies is related to your search phrase. That then also carries across to um, the individuals that work there. So if we look at Bulletin, uh, what the search engine will do is it will identify out of their individuals, which one of those individuals is most closely associated with this topic. And finally, uh, if I click up on MMC Ventures, I can see that actually MMC Ventures themselves have been producing thought leadership content on this. So they're talking about quantum computing. All of this helps you to build a heat map of who might be potentially relevant to market to. We're really excited um, uh, uh, about this. I think there's also uh, another thing worth mentioning, which is a, an innovation after we basically just listened to existing customers and prospective customers about how they actually wanted us to price. So uh, many of our customers have uh, many entrepreneurs that they need to support. What they don't want to have is they don't want to be a bottleneck for those entrepreneurs by having a single centrally held research license, although that is useful too. What they actually wanted to have was access tokens, which they could distribute to the entrepreneurs and the businesses that they're supporting. And basically that's a model that we now enable. So you can purchase blocks of tokens, and you can distribute access to the entrepreneurs that you're supporting as and when you need it. So yeah, that's that's the way this works. You can also purchase just to, um, uh, your own license or subscription. But uh, yeah, we, we decided to listen and, and build that into how this um, search engine works. Uh, thanks very much. We'd love your feedback as well. So it'd be great to hear which feature you like most, which feature you would uh, really want to include. Um, for example, we've had um, a number of people ask us to, to include a shortlist element. So that's coming in a future release. You'll be able to download a CSV of shortlisted individuals, articles, portfolio companies, or VC firms, export that to CSV and incorporate that into the rest of your workflow. So yeah, that's the way this works. Um, yeah, please do give us your feedback. Looking forward to it. Thank you.